Phew, I'm tired. I guess I'll be riding the last train home again today. My name is Tsukasa Nitsa. I'm a 25 year old system engineer at a company that treats their employees like slaves. As you can see, I usually get home on the final train of the day and hardly have any days off. I was exhausted both mentally and physically. And one of the main reasons of my exhaustion is. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Leaving already? Ugh, the chief. This here is Miyabe Ikutsuki. She's my boss, and her position is the chief. She's pretty and has a great physique too, but above all, her personality is quite harsh. Did you finish everything I assigned to you? No, not yet. But it is quite late, so I thought I'd do it tomorrow morning. What are you talking about? It's only common sense that you finish all the work it's been assigned to you on the day of. I'm not letting you leave until you finish. But the last train. It's no problem if you stay the night at the office. Huh? I have to stay over again? Lucky you. You can save time on commute, so you can get even more work done. But no, I haven't even said that I'm staying tonight. Well, I'm leaving now, but you better finish everything by tonight. You know what I'll do to you if you dare go home without finishing it. Oh no. Every day I get assigned an amount of work, no one person can finish in a day, and if I don't finish, I am ordered to stay the night at the office. On top of that, our company doesn't pay extra for overtime, so no matter how late I stay, I'll only get a set salary. This is one reason why our company is notoriously known to mistreat their employees. Ugh, I can't do this anymore. My body won't last. I'm going to lose it. The next day, I was on the verge of a breakdown. I struggled to get the work done last night, and by the time I finished, the sun had already risen. My head was spinning from the lack of sleep and exhaustion. Don't act so weak, Tsukasa. Chief, good morning. Do you understand? There are plenty of people that can replace you at any moment. Ugh. Yes, I understand. Well then, you have to stop complaining and work harder. A useless person like you should be glad to still have a work to do here. Well, say something. Yes, I'm very lucky to still have work to do here. <laughs> As long as you understand. Here, hurry up and wash your face and freshen up. You've got lots of work to do again today. Okay. It's sad, but I couldn't talk back to the chief. I guess a guy like me only has a place to be in a place like this. A few weeks later. Today is my first day off in a while. I, I came out to town, town as it is, it is my, my day, day off. off. But, but what, what am, am I supposed to do out, out here, here to kill, kill time? time. It's so sad that I've gotten so used to being treated like a slave that I don't even know what to do on my day off. Everyone, everyone looks, looks like, like they're, they're having, having fun. fun. I'm, I'm sure, sure everyone, everyone is fulfilled, is fulfilled on, and on and off work. I watch the people go by from my patio seat at a cafe I randomly entered. Everyone looked like they were glowing. On the other hand, me, the face I saw looking back at me in the reflection was gray. Do you mind if I sit here? Huh? A woman I had never seen before had come up to me. She looked perfectly dressed in her suit, but strangely, she did not look intimidating at all. If anything, she had a mysterious aura that draws people in. Um, there are plenty of other vacant seats. I thought that I wanted to have some tea with you. Long time no see, Tsukasa. Huh? How do you know? Aww, did you really forget? It's me, Aki Oshiro. Oshiro? Oh, are you Aki Senpai? Bingo! Wow, I never, I never thought, thought that, thought that I'd, I'd see her, see her again, again in a place, in a place like, like this. this. When I first started working, and I have no idea what I was doing, she was the one that walked me through everything. She was a great worker, but she had quite a few years prior, saying that she wanted to start her own business. 
So, how is your business going? <laughs> Glad you asked. Here. A business card? Huh? Is this? I look at the company name on the card, and my jaw drops to the ground. It was a billion dollar startup company that everyone has heard of. Apparently, she is even mentioned as the world's top 10 female entrepreneurs. Wow, she has grown her company this much in just a few years. What's wrong? Do I have something on my face? Oh, no, nothing. I could not say that I was taken aback by how beautiful Aki-senpai had become. So, tell me about you. How's work? <laughs> me? No, not at all. I'm always getting scolded by the chief. From Miyabi-chan? But why? Well, I'm just a bad employee. I explain my situation just as I'm asked. I feel bad talking about myself to someone so amazing and successful. I see. I guess things have gotten even worse since I left. So, Tsukasa, is work still fun for you? I don't know, I haven't even thought about it. I just have to work to get by, so... That's a waste! If you want, do you want to try working for us? Huh? At your company? Yep. What do you think? It's an opportunity of a lifetime, but wouldn't I be a burden to you? No, you wouldn't. I know you are very talented. Huh? Me? Yes, I took care of you while you started working at that company. I would know. It's a waste of your skills to be stuck in a company like that. I couldn't take it all in so suddenly, but... Aki-senpai Aki recognized, Aki recognized me, me my, my talent. talent. Maybe, Maybe I can I try, try trusting trust myself, myself a little more. more. Then a few days later, I submitted my resignation letter to the chief. What's this? It's exactly what it says it is. I wish you well. You'll definitely regret it if you quit. Do you understand me? I've already made up my mind. My bosses urged me to stay, but I was able to quit at last. Um, I look forward to working here from today. We've been looking forward to having you. Now, let me introduce you to everyone. Whoa, please don't pull. From there, I promised. I started working at Aki Senpai's company. And from there, the CEO had personally taken time to train me on the work here. Thanks to that, I was able to grow quickly, and other employees had recognized my talent too. By six months in, I was promoted to a pretty high position, but... Tsukasa, your phone is ringing. Oh, thank you. Yes, hello? So, how long are you going to hold this grudge? If you apologize now, we'll forgive you. So come back right now. You again. As I've told you many times before, I have no intention of returning. Please stop contacting me. Hey, how dare you talk to me like... Oh, was it alright that you cut her off like that? It's fine, she's really persistent. I still get multiple phone calls from my ex-boss. It's so annoying. Since then, I have ignored all the calls I got from her. Then one day after I finished work and returned home, I saw someone unexpected waiting for me. It was my ex-boss, Miyabi. She is sitting down with something on her mind. What are you doing here? It's causing me trouble. It's your fault for ignoring all my calls. Huh? Please come back. I love you, Tsukasa. Huh? You must be joking. You always looked down on me saying that I was useless. That... that was... because it turned me on watching you fear me. And I didn't want you to get too confident and find another job. Unbelievable. And anyway, it was all for you. Please, can we work together again? I refuse. I have work to do at my new job. Huh? I'm saying this much and you still don't understand? I really want to be with you. Then my front door opened. Aki-senpai peers through the door. Um, 
What's all this commotion about? Oh, it's nothing. Hey, it's Kasa. What is Aki doing in your room? What do you mean, why? We are dating and we live together now. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, long time no see, Miyabi. No, no way! You're going out with Aki? Miyabi had always looked up to Aki, so she seemed to take the news pretty hard. A little after that, my previous company went bankrupt from lack of sales. Miyabi had lost her job as well. According to the rumors, Miyabi came for a job at our company, but had failed at the first interview from lack of skill. Meanwhile, Aki Senpai's company was thriving thanks to all the employees' hard work, including me. Aki Senpai and I are great partners on and off work. I guess I'd rather stay with someone who can see real value in me, rather than someone who drags me down. Rino-san, the printer is out of paper. Rino-san, I told you to sort these documents out, didn't I? Why are you so slow? I'm sorry. The girl is Rino Mamiya, my colleague. She looked smaller than usual. She apologized in the corner of the office. The female co-workers were making her work for them because she looked like she wouldn't resist. That day, she was left alone in the office until late. I had work to do, so I was in the office too. But she seems like she wasn't able to finish work any sooner. You were the only ones here. Reno, do you need any help? No. If you're done with your task, just go home. I offered her a hand, but she rejected me and looked away. She sure isn't cute. Um, are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. Now, go home. Okay. I was still worried about her, but I knew Reno wouldn't take my offer. I was just gonna make her mad if I keep offering to help. I decided to go straight home. Since then, Rina was kept busy by the other female co-workers because they keep pushing their work onto her. Um, maybe I should offer to help again tonight. At night, I waited for everyone else to go home in the reference room and went back to the office. Rina had her face down at her desk, her shoulders shivering. Um, Reno, are you crying? Ah. Reno looked up like she was surprised. Tears were streaming down her face. What's wrong? No, nothing. You're lying. Tell me. No, it's nothing. Reno looked away, but I saw a complicated table on her computer screen. Isn't that the reference we need for tomorrow's presentation? Um, wasn't Suzuki-san responsible for it? She gave it to me. She told me to finish it before morning. So, you would cry because you knew you couldn't finish it? Yes, I know I can't. No, it's too early to give up. I know what I need to make the table. I'm gonna get all documents we need from the reference room. So, can you input them for me? We'll make it if we do it together. Huh? Hey! I didn't wait for Reno to take my offer. I went to the reference room and went back to Reno. I'm gonna read out the values, so try putting them into the table. Okay. And we finish it before the midnight. Yeah, Ryota, thanks. Let me take you out for a lunch sometimes. <laughs> thanks. And we finish the presentation in success. Few days later, Reno took me out for lunch. Hey, this isn't a place for lunch at all. Oh, I always come here for lunch. She invited me for lunch at the famous high-end restaurant. I wasn't even scared to go in the restaurant. But Reno seemed like she knew the place very well. Why this place? You could have chosen a cheaper place. No way! I can't just go to a cheaper place. This is meant to be a thank you gift from me. She stared at me for a little and looked away. I knew she did hide her embarrassment, so I didn't even flinch. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. No, I mean... Oh, her face is red now. Reno can't hide her true feelings. It's always on her face. She's also really straightforward. I've always thought she was angry with me, but I guess she's just not very good with people. Reno started to look cute in my eyes, so I decided not to hold myself back anymore. The next day. Reno, I'm gonna help you with this one. 
Oh, don't. I didn't ask for it, did I? <laughs> no, you didn't. Just make it my fault. I laughed as I said so and took hold of her desk. I went back to my desk with her work. Right, so this went from the last transaction. Rina was staring at me from afar, but I didn't mind. The moment my smartphone rang, I had a message. It was Reno. I didn't ask for it. I know, but if we finish this one as soon as possible, we'll be able to go for a drink. How's that? Idiot, I'll consider it. Reno sure wasn't honest about her true feelings, but we seemed to have gotten closer because now we were able to exchange messages like this. I was really happy about that. I need to find a good place to drink at. Reno is a bit picky about places. I was determined to finish work early, so I could spend some time looking for a good bar. And the weekend came. Um, where's Reno? I was going to ask her out for a drink, but I couldn't find her any here. Most of the employees had already gone home, but her stuff was still at her desk? I thought and went out to the garden. You should behave yourself more. Yeah! Reno! Ijima was tilting a huge bucket over Reno's head. I quickly ran towards Reno and hugged her skinny body. Yeah! Ew, Cold water was poured on top of us. We were both soaking wet. Ijima, what the hell do you think you were doing? Wh what? No one asked you to come. Why are you so harsh to Reno like this? Because she only cares about her appearance. She's useless at work. Who is? You guys keep making Reno to do your jobs. We don't need people like you. You lot are only jealous of someone and never work. What? Who are you to say that to us? As we argued, other employees started to gather around us. And... Oh, what's going on? Uh, Mr. President. Oh, no. Ijima looked away because the president was here. It seems like you guys weren't just playing with water. What happened here? It, it's Mamiya-san's fault. What? I told her to be careful about her work, and she got angry with me. She tried to splash me with water, but as we struggled, she splashed herself. Hey! Before I could argue back to Ijima lying, she approached the president while playing the victim. Mr. President, she's lying! Ijima was the one who was bullying Reno! He's lying! I'm telling you the truth, Mr. President. Believe me, will you? Ijima crested the president's arm. She tried to seduce him. That isn't good. I knew me and Reno were going to be punished. Get off me. Huh? The president looked Ijima's arm off his and stepped back. S sir I'm sorry, but I believe Yaragida kun. Wh why? He always helped my daughter out. He's an earnest one. He's good at work too. Do you think I know nothing about my own employees? I mean... Ijima started to shiver as the president spoke. I'm older than those two. So what? Are you saying that they are lying because they are younger than you? What? Why do you believe those two like that? The guy who works hard with my own daughter is more believable than the lady who bullies my daughter and works hard on her makeup. Don't you think? No way! While I admired the person, a question popped into my mind. So, could it be that... Oh, you didn't know. Radio Mamiya is my daughter. What? Sorry, I didn't tell you. Radio put her hand together as she apologized. Actually, I kind of wanted to know that a little more sooner. I feel like I wasn't treating her right. Maybe it's a present matter with me too. Yaragiraku. Yes! My heart nearly stopped as he called my name. What, what, what is it? Leave everything else up to me and go get changed. Reno, you too. Oh, okay. Let's go, Ryota. Yeah, yeah. Reno took my hand. We went back to the office. But we don't have any change on us. Yeah, shall we go and buy some? True. There's a shop I usually go to nearby. Let's go. We ran to the shop even though it was a little shameful to run in a sock closings. And we got it changed. Cash or card? Card, please. 
You can't! I'm going to pay because this was because of me. Rina took out her credit card next to mine. It's fine. I helped you because I wanted to. Huh? You helped me because you liked me? Ryota, do you like me? Huh? Uh, no, I didn't say that. I mean, I didn't. What? Rina's face turned red. My face was also hot because of what she said. In the end, I bought Rino's closet, and Rino bought my closet. We were both feeling so awkward. And, and anyways, I'm surprised that you were the president's daughter. I said, trying to change the mood. But if you were the daughter of the president, you could have told him about the bullying. I didn't want to. I felt like I was losing to the bullies if I asked my dad to help me. But I was happy that you helped me. So I always told him about you. Oh, so that's why he knew about me. Yeah, I never told about the bullies to him, so I guess he researched it himself. I see. He's a president after all. But why do you tell anyone that you were the daughter of the president? Because I didn't want anyone to see me that way. I just wanted to make my own name. <laughs> Is that so? You sure are strong, Reno. When I said so, Reno made a sad face and looked down. I'm not. I've been working really hard, but it was so hard every day that I was on the verge of tears. Reno started crying. I had to hug Reno, and when I realized, I was patting on her head. You were trying so hard, but you shouldn't overwork. Yeah, I'm happy that you were there for me. You were the reason why I was able to get through. Can I count on you from now on? Of course, I want you to ask me for help. <laughs> Thanks. Do you say that to every other girl, though? No way. Why are you angry? Oh, so you do that unconsciously. Do you know that you're attracting girls because of that? <clears throat> But you like me the best right now, don't you? Kinda. <laughs> I see. Let's work together from now on. Maybe you'll become the president of the company one day. That, that means... Reynolds smile her intention behind those words are making my heart best too fast. Oh, by the way, those boys are demoted afterwards. Ah, <sighs> oh, Ryu, were you staying up until late even though you don't have anyone to hang out with? What the hell do you think you're doing? When I got to the office in the morning, I yawned. Kaoru Takamatsu, who was hired at the same time as me, walked past as she told me off. She seems like she thinks of me as a rival just because we were hired at the same time. That was probably why she was always cold towards me. But her attitude is bothering me. I sped up and started walking next to Kaoru. You look tired too. I think it's problematic that you're always hanging out with your friends at night. Huh? I think being lonely is more problematic than that. Kaoru made a threatening expression. I was so intimidated because of her face was so scary. I... I'm sorry. <laughs> When I apologized, Kaoru left angrily. And as she left, one of my seniors came by. Oh no, did you make Kaoru-san mad? You should be careful. She was a very famous gang in her hometown. Huh? Really? Yeah. I mean, she's both smart and tough, so she never brings back an unfair deal for the company. But apparently, she's pretty rough to people when she's off work, if you treat her wrong. That's why I said you should be careful, do you? She said, and lightly patted on my shoulder. And she left with light steps. Tough personality, Kaoru taking advantage of deals. I imagine Kaoru threatening the client inside my head. I can easily imagine that, I thought, and shivered. And the company where I worked with her was pretty busy. So I always try my best to relax on weekends. I was at the park with my niece, Reno. It's hot. I'm thirsty. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get you a drink at the vending machine right there. Just wait for me quietly, okay? The vending machine was only a few meters away. I should be able to go and come back in a few minutes, I thought. I rushed to get a drink for her. And when I turned around to go back to Reno... <coughs> Reno! A random guy was reaching for Reno while I wasn't looking. I'm not gonna make it. As I ran towards her at full speed... Ha! <laughs> Huh? The guy was blown away in front of me. Someone had kicked him with a great form. Huh? Kaoru-san? Hey, are you okay? 
Y yeah, that's good. I couldn't believe my eyes. Kaoru in the gang mode was bending over to console Reno, and she was very gentle too. Hey, as I approached them, Kaoru stood up and stared at me. Huh? So you are her guardian? You have to be monitoring her at all times. I, I'm sorry. She was angry again, but it was fair enough. Kaoru was enraged with a scary face, and the only thing I could do was to keep apologizing. Jesus, nothing happened only because I walked by. If you have a child, then don't leave her on her own. You have to be strong enough so you can save her from any danger. Y yeah, Kaoru left looking dissatisfied as I was just intimidated. Rino, I'm sorry. It must have been very scary. It's fine. The coolest hero came to rescue for me. I really want to be like her too. Uh -huh. Really? Rina wants to be like Kaoru when she's so cute. I kind of don't want that to happen, I thought, from the bottom of my heart. And Monday came. It's a little awkward to see Kaoru after all that. I sat down at my desk. Kaoru, who was sitting next to me, looked depressed. What's wrong? Well, I didn't know that you were married. You even have a big child. And why are you so depressed? Because you're married. I... Oh, so she thinks that she's the only one who's yet to marry anyone. She's probably feeling inferior to me right now because of that. Hey, what's your wife like? What's her height? Where does she work? Is she beautiful? Is she better than me? Huh? I thought I heard her say something weird at the end. I asked her back and Kaoru's face turned red. What did you just say? N nothing. Kaoru? Kaoru ran off at full speed, leaving me behind completely confused. W what's wrong with her? Since then, Kaoru kept acting strange when she saw me. She was becoming increasingly suspicious, and weeks had passed. Gyakun, this way! Ah, uh, wait for me, Reno. <laughs> I was chasing after Reno, who was running around in joy. That moment, Kaoru walked by and we both stopped. You're the hero from that day. Yeah, I'm Kaoru. You look energetic as always. Yep, I'm Reno. I see. Nice to meet you, Reno. Nice to meet you too. Kaoru, do you come to this park often? Yeah, there's a karate place nearby and I go there for lessons. It's a shortcut to the station if I walk through this park. I see. Hey sis, why are you so strong? I want to become a strong hero like you. Huh? Reno? Do you want to become a hero now instead of a princess? Yes! Huh, <laughs> that's awesome that you admire heroes. I like you. I shall teach you things that you need to become a hero. Yay! Huh? H hey! First, this is the turning kick. Kaoru immediately started to teach Reno a turning kick. I didn't have a time to stop her. Jeez, I can see her underwear. Kaoru's skirt was lift up and I could see her bare legs. But I was the only one who was panicking. Wow, that's so cool. I'm gonna do it too. Like this? Oh, that's good. You should be aware of your core more. Kaoru patiently lectured Reno, and Reno was listening to every word that Kaoru said. Later that day, we ended up playing the game of tag, and we spent time together until the sun was setting. Ah, <sighs> I'm tired, but that was such fun. <laughs> True. I had fun too. Good, good. I felt peaceful as I looked at Reno and Kaoru smiling to each other. I don't know why I feel so peaceful when I get along with her very well at the office. Now, let's go home. Yeah. What? I don't want to say goodbye to sis yet. You have to. I don't want to. Reno started to get cranky when we were getting ready to go home. She was pulling Kaoru's clothing to stop her from going home. Reno, Kaoru needs to go home too. Yes, also your mother is waiting at home too, right? Ah, uh, Kaoru, stop. I panicked and Kaoru looked at me like she didn't understand me. What's wrong? My mom is in heaven. My dad too. Huh? W what do you mean? Reno is a child of my older sister, and she and her husband passed away in an accident. I ended up taking Reno in, and we live together right now. I didn't know. I grew up in a fatherless family, so I know how hard it is to raise a child alone. I didn't know that either. Well, I will be here to support you from now on. Just tell me if you have anything you need. 
Kaoru said and looked me in the eyes. Huh? <laughs> you say you'll support me? I'm counting on you then. <laughs> Please, you can ask for anything. Even though we seemed to fight every time we met at the office, she was now someone I can count on. I was happy to have someone who I can turn to when I had concerns for Reno. From that day, Kaoru never forget to check up on Reno whenever we met at the office. I was able to solve many problems that I couldn't solve alone, because Kaoru, who is a girl just like Reno, gave me advices. You really are supporting me, thanks. N no need. When I thanked her, Kaoru looked away as her face turned red. Hey, Reno wants to see you again. Can we have a play day with three of us again? Sure thing. As the time went on, we got together more and more to play, and eventually we were eating meals together. One day, when we were playing at the park like usual, we are kind of like a family, aren't we? Y yeah true. Reno said so happily, so I couldn't deny her. But when I looked at Kaoru, she was frozen with a red face. It was then when a few drunken guys walked towards us. <laughs> Hey, this is no place for a child to play. You're annoying me. Yeah, Reno. Kaoru picked Reno up like she was saving her. I stood in front of both of them to shield them from the guys. Actually, that girl is quite beautiful. You should dump your husband and play with us. Stop it. One of the guys reached out for Kaoru. So I grabbed his hand to stop him. We were just playing here having fun. And the park is a public park for everyone. You are the only one who's annoying everyone else. What the hell? Hey dude, stop it. He doesn't know who he's speaking to. The guy swung their fist aiming at me. I caught all the punches and wanded them off, and a few seconds later, all the guys were on the ground. You still wanna fight? <laughs> Shit, let's go you guys. They sure are quick when they're running away. H hey dude. As I was watching the guys run away, Kaoru put Reno back on the ground and ran towards me. Why are you so strong? You're awesome. There were multiple guys coming for you. Huh? <laughs> Thanks. Duku went to a national contest for karate when he was young. Huh? W wait, do Yamochi. Do Yamochi. You gotta be kidding me. You're the king of karate? I've seen you at the contest. I didn't know you were him. I just thought you had the same name. Oh, what should I do? My favorite karate fighter is in front of me. Kaoru was turning red as she was panicking. What's wrong, Kaoru? I, I have my favorite karate fighter in front of me. I'm so embarrassed now. I, I don't know what to do. Kaoru was looking down while being restless. She looked like a girl in love and my heart pounded looking at her. What should I do? It's fine. Reno gently held Kaoru's hand and she held my hand with the opposite hand. Reno smiled. We'll always be together, happily ever after, forever and ever. T true. Actually, I enjoyed the time we spent together so much. I didn't know I was able to feel happy just like a normal person. It's fun for me to be with you too. So please, I want you to be a friend of mine just like before. Yeah, we should keep playing together like this. Kaoru smiled, looking a little embarrassed. I prayed for a future where we could stay this way. Oh. I was jogging around neighborhood I was on the way back home. When I approached the park, I heard the voice of someone I knew well. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it's so funny. It's Reno. I stopped jogging and peeked into the park. I saw my younger sister Reno. Reno wasn't anything like me and she was a boss of a friend group that consists of outgoing girls. She was beautiful, she had a great figure and she was outgoing. That's why she was very popular at school. I should make her come home soon. When it gets dark, some random guys might try and hit on her. I was worried about my pretty sister, so I went inside of the park and talked to Reno. Hey, Reno. Shit, it's Ren. Reno got grumpy as soon as she saw me. It's gonna get dark soon, so just make sure and go home before that, okay? Mom's gonna be worried about you. Huh? Who are you to tell me about when to come home? You're so annoying. Just fuck off. She stared at me so hard. Okay, okay, I'm going home, so just come home soon, okay? I'm telling you, you're annoying me. <sighs> I started jogging again, listening to Reno's harsh words with my back. Why does she hate me so much? She suddenly got harsh on me when she hit puberty. Man, she used to be very attached on me before. I was feeling really sad while going home alone. That night... <sighs> That was a nice bath. 
Oh, Rina, welcome home. I went out the corridor after I took a bath, washed off all the sweats, and from jogging, I came across Rino, who seems to be have come home just now. Mom and Dad are gonna be late, so I made an easy dinner. I'll be taking the laundry as well. Huh? You touch my underwears? You idiot! I can make a dinner on my own too. Do the chores just for yourself. Oh, okay. Rino was so angry with her face all red. I always do the laundries. Did she not know that? Well, she's a teenager, so I guess she doesn't want a guy to touch her underwear. But I couldn't just leave them out. Either way, she was gonna hate me. She hates me quite a lot already, though. I was starting to get depressed. I wouldn't sleep soon after because I wasn't feeling great. Every time I spoke to my sister, she kept making it awkward. My parents seems to have noticed that, and they said that we'd be going on a family trip. Whoa! That's a nice place! Right? Without a good amount of research. <laughs> I'm surprised that you found such a nice place. We came to a resort facility in the outskirts of the town. There was a beautiful river flowing right next to the hotel. And the view was amazing too. Hey, Taka-san, shall we go for a walk? Yes,、yeah, sure. Ren, are you coming with us? Me? Um, I'm not sure. I'm gonna walk around on my own, so you guys can leave without me. I have a phone on me if you guys need anything. Are you sure? Then we will be going for a walk. Don't go too far alone, okay? I know. Bye. Rino left the room as soon as she finished her line. Dad, Mom, I'm worried about Rino, so I'll be staying with her. Enjoy the walk with just two of you. Oh, thank you, Ren. You really are a good brother. I waved goodbye to my mom, who was smiling. I wrapped Rino to catch up. Rino, I'm coming with you. Huh? Stop following me. I can't. What are you gonna do if there is a bad guy trying to get you? Just do whatever you want. Rino seems a little anxious after hearing my words, and she didn't say anything after that. As I followed her, we reached the riverside. We walked down the beside the river together. Oh, Rino, look! There's some river fish. Oh wow, that's a lot. What are they called? Yamame, I think. I see. I wish I had a fishing rod with me. Do you want to try and catch them by hand? <laughs> that's never gonna happen, you idiot. Rino laughed. We were finally able to hold some conversation thanks to the scenery. Ah,、uh, there's something over there too. Hey, it's dangerous if you lean out like that. <laughs> Rino. Rino slipped and fell into the river. It was deeper than we thought, and her body completely sunk in water. Rino, this way! I went after in the padding and grabbed her hand. I was able to stand in the river, so I picked her up like a princess and took her to the shore. Are you okay, Rino? Rino was looking up to me with her face red. Your face is red. I don't feel well. Should I call an ambulance? Ah,、uh, I'm fine. It's nothing. I'm fine because you came to help me, Ren. But your face. Maybe you got a fever? <laughs> I touched her forehead and she screamed. You don't have any fever. I, I told you that I'm fine. Rino continued to scream as she took a distance from me. It was that moment when I realized that Rino's clothing were see-through because they were wet. Well, well, we should go back so we can get changed. Y- yeah. We were both soaking wet. We hurriedly went back to our room and got changed. Ah, <sighs> she scared me. Ren. When I was relaxing on the sofa after getting changed, Rino came to join me. Um, th- thank you for helping me. <laughs> no need. I just did the right thing. I'm glad that you didn't get hurt. I told her my honest feeling, and Rino's face was slightly red again. Um, are you sure you're feeling okay? I'm fine. Don't look at me too much. Oh, sorry. We enjoy a relaxing holiday as a family after that incident. Next week, Rino, morning. There's a bento box for you. Yeah, th- thank you. Oh, Rino put her bento box into her bag. She was acting definitely from her usual self. She's acting strange. Since we came back from the trip, she stopped being harsh to me. Instead, she was usually very restless in front of me. What the hell is wrong with her? Teenage girls was so hard to deal with. I thought, and I was looking at her when I saw Rino's amulet fall from her bag. I reached out to get it when Rino reached for it as well. Our hands touched. Oh! Whoa! What's wrong? Rino screamed and pulled her hand back. 
Her face was red again. Reno? N -n Nothing. I'm going. She picked up her amulet in a flash, and she ran out to the house to go to school. So she hates me touching her to the point where she has to scream? I was really hurt this time. I sighed and went to school depressed. And that night, I decided to consult my parents about Reno. Well, she's my child, and she's not related by blood to you. She's probably not sure what to do. My mom had a very serious look on her face. Both of her parents had divorced once before marrying each other. Reno is my mom's child, and I'm my dad's child. So, Reno and I were not related by blood. But that's why I wanted to make sure that Reno feels loved. Because we're not real siblings. Is that why Reno hates me so much? What do you mean? Suddenly, I heard Reno's voice. Reno was standing there in pajamas. Oh, I thought you were already asleep. That's not the point. What do you mean we're not real siblings? Oh, I told you about it ages ago. She might have forgot about it because she was so little. True. Then I'll say it again. This is the second marriage for both of us. Reno, your biological father is my ex-husband. And Ren's biological mother is his ex-wife. We married each other when we already had you too. That's why you and Ren are siblings but not related by blood. Th that can't be. I've always thought that you were my biological dad. I thought Ren was my real brother. I can't believe we're not related by blood. Did you know about this, Ren? Yeah, I was all grown up when they told me about it. But you were in the kindergarten, so we didn't talk about it after that too. No wonder why you don't remember anything. I'm sorry, Reno. It must be a huge surprise to you. Yes, it is. It wouldn't have bothered me this much if I knew about this. What's that bothering you? <gasps> when our eyes met, Reno's face turned red. Reno? N nothing. Good night. Reno went back to her room and didn't come out. Since I was worried about her, I quickly went after her. Hey, Reno! Are you sure you okay? I went into her room and Reno was on the bed, her face planting in the pillow. Reno, she must have been devastated. I approached her to console her. Don't come near me. Um, you don't have to hate me like that. Maybe she hated me even more for doing this. I dropped my shoulder in despair. Reno got rid of her pillow and glanced at me. I don't hate you. Huh? I said, I don't hate you, Ren. R really? You were always really harsh on me. Th that's because I thought you were my real brother. I thought it was twisted to like you romantically. I tried to hate you. Huh? What did you just say? You like me? Yeah. I don't know what to do. Now that I know you're not related by blood, I can't stop my feelings. Reno was looking at me embarrassed with a red face. My heart had skipped a beat when I saw her expression. Reno came close to me as I was figuring out what to say. Hey, do you hate me for thinking about you like that? No, I don't. I just don't know what to say because it's so sudden. Oh, so I do have a chance to go out with you? Right! I'm gonna be flirting with you from now on. I'm not wasting this opportunity. Reno looked into my face and smiled. I couldn't take my eyes off her smile. I'm Kohei. I'm 17 years old high school student. It had been a while since I became a high schooler, but I didn't have any friends. I was an introvert. Hey Kohei, can I look at your homework? There. Thanks. Are you a friend of him? No way, I just had to borrow his notebook. I see. Who wants to be a friend with that kind of gloomy guy? Why do they have to say such things? Hmm? The cake shop that I found recently was really good. Sounds nice. We all should go there together. Whoa, I'm looking forward to it. <gasps> Did she smile at me? Maybe my mind was playing tricks on me. Her name is Marina. She was an outgoing gal and everyone in my class liked her. She was the popular one. She lives in a different world to me, I guess. Oh, it's this late already? My parents both worked since I was little. They both had to work until late. They also worked on the weekends, too. So they used a housekeeping service for making dinners and cleaning around the house. That lady is late tonight. I'm really hungry. Hello? Ma'am, you're late today. 
Huh? I came here for the housekeeping service. Nice to meet you. When I opened the door, the classmate was standing there with a puzzled look on her face. I couldn't understand what's going on. Marina-san? Oh, Kohei-kun, is this your house? Where's the usual lady? She strained her back. I'm here to fill her in. Huh? You are? You can call me Marina. I'm really good at chores, so don't worry. <laughs> hey! I couldn't believe her, but apparently she knows that her family uses the housekeeping service. I invited her in and took her to the living room. It's already clean. We always gotta help with the cleaning. I see. So I just need to make a dinner and clean around the house? Yeah, yeah. You still can't believe me? I told you, I'm really good at housekeeping chores. I'm good at cooking too. Uh, is that so? Oof. <clears throat> hmm? What's wrong? Ah, uh, no, nothing. I'm just gonna whip something up real quick, so just relax. Oh, that being said, do you have anything you want to eat? No, I'll leave it up to you. Roger that. I sat on the sofa to watch news, but I couldn't process any of it. I kept wondering about what's going on in the kitchen. <laughs> this is really weird. My classmate is cooking at my house. There you go. Whoa, that looks kind of good. It's not kinda, it's really good. Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna clean everything up so you can go on and eat. Huh? You're not eating with me? What? I'm working. I can't eat with you. Oh, true. <laughs> You're weird. Marina went on to clean the house. Apparently, she was telling the truth when she said that she was good at chores. Eventually, she finished all the work. Thank you for coming. You really helped us. You're welcome. Thank you for using our service, too. Oh, that reminds me. Did you forget something? Keep this secret from everyone else at school. Huh? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm counting on you. She smiled and went home. The house felt so empty after she left. Since then, she came to her house for the housekeeping service. What else will she do for me as a job? I was tempted to test her. Hey. What is it? Could you give me a massage? Mm hmm Sure thing. Huh? You don't mind? You're asking me to do it as a job, right? Yeah, yeah, as a part of your job. Mmm, so, does it feel good? Yeah, yeah. Your body is really stiff. Her boobs are touching my back. Marina always said yes to my requests, so I was getting carried away. Hey, can you clean my ears for me? Mm hmm sure thing. Can you help me eat the dinner? Mm hmm sure thing. Wait, is she willing to do anything if I ask her? She was here for the housekeeping service, but the way she acted made me feel like I had a girlfriend. While I was starting to be attracted to her, I was starting to worry about something else. Does Marina do anything to anyone if it was part of her job? One day, I couldn't help but to test her again. I made her a new request because it popped into my mind. Hey! What is it? Can you wash my back in the bathroom? She wouldn't say yes to a request like this. Mm-hmm. Sure thing. Huh? Are you serious? Huh? But you want me to wash your back, right? It's a joke! Why don't you understand? Hey, wait! What the hell is she thinking? I knew I was being selfish, but I was really angry at her. Hmm? I sensed someone standing outside the bathroom. The door opened. M marina Why? Because it's part of my job. I wanted to. Mm, so, are you okay? I'm okay, but... That's good. Marina, why do you do this for a work? The housekeeping service? Yeah. My mom got divorced, and she's a single mother. So, I do all the chores around the house, and that's why I'm good at them. I see. I want to help my mom out. I thought I could make money if I worked for a housekeeping service. So you don't care about what you do if you could make money? Are you even willing to wash the guy's body? I mean, it's not like that. Get out. I don't need you anymore. But I'm still... Enough. Just go home today. I'm gonna pay you the full amount. Okay. Fuck.
The lady came back to work soon after. Marina never came to my house again for the housekeeping service. We weren't close to each other at school anyways. We never spoke at school since then. She lived in a different world from the beginning. I was an introvert, and she was popular. But I was attracted to her because she was kind to me. Only because I had an opportunity to talk to her. I hype myself up on my own, and I'm depressed like this? I'm such an idiot. Hey, watch out, idiot! Huh? Uga! Are you okay? Call the teacher. <clears throat> oh, you're awake? Are you okay? Marina? When I woke up, Marina was looking at me. Why is she here? A ball hit you in the PE class. Jeez, I was worried about you. Oh. You should sleep a little more. Don't you have to go to work? Huh? The housekeeping. Oh, I'm not working for that anymore. Huh? Really? Why? I told you, I was just filling in. Nakano-san's back is much better now, too. Oh, I see. I only worked in Kohei-kun's house, okay? I couldn't reply because she grinned to me. Are you still worried about me? I... I mean... She was looking up to me as if she was telling me off. I couldn't make up any excuses. I was sorry about what happened. You must have been really confused. I asked you to do something, and I was angry for that. I sure was a horrible customer. I know. I'm sorry. I was jealous of a customer that didn't exist. I'm an idiot. It was what I did as a job, but I wouldn't do it if someone else asked me to do it. I only did it because it was you, Kohei-kun. Hey, why did you say yes to my request? I'm an introvert and... I hate myself for pleasing other people. I never wanted anyone to make fun of me because I didn't have a dad. So I hid everything and tried to be outgoing. Mm. But you were always alone in the class. You didn't please anyone to be liked. I always admire you. It's not like that. I never liked to be alone, so I was always jealous of you because you had many friends. Really? Really. Oh, so I guess we are really similar in a way. Maybe. She was walking next to me, smiling. I felt like I was obliged to ask her. Hey. What is it? Can I ask you to come to my house again as the housekeeper? Not to fill anyone in, but as the official one. Your house orders the service every day, right? Yeah, that's right. Why? I feel like I'm commuting wife. I'm going to your house to make a dinner every day. Huh? Uh, I mean, I didn't. <laughs> uh, and... Are you okay with that? Hmm? Sure thing. She said as she looked away, her cheeks were bright red, but it was probably because of the setting sun. Does she say that? Because she's embarrassed? I thought... Um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong! I don't even know how many times I've heard this phrase from him as we walk home from school. To that, I ask him, What is it, Toru? Did you break up with your girlfriend again? Yeah, that's right, Rika. I thought we were getting along well, and all of a sudden, she tells me she wants to break up. All of a sudden? You always say that, but are you sure you haven't unconsciously done anything to upset her? Um, I suppose... But I don't have anything in mind. Maybe it was because I asked to spill the bill every once in a while? But we're students after all, so even if we're dating, isn't it natural for us to pay on our way? But now that I think about it, she didn't look clearly satisfied when I asked to spill the bill. I wouldn't be upset about something like that. Huh? Did you say something? No, I just thought that it was pretty entitled of her to act upset over splitting the bill. Now that we've broken up, I guess I think so too. I was treating her when I wasn't so tight on money. But if that's always expected of me, it kind of makes me mad. I'm Rika Watanabe, and this is my childhood friend, Toru Ishiguro, who happens to be really popular with girls. Honestly, he's so popular that not having a girlfriend like now is a rare occasion for him. And I have a crush on him. I can't really place a finger on when I first had a crush on him. But I know that I've liked him well before he had his first girlfriend. But... 
Hey, what kind of girl do you think I would go well with as a childhood friend? What do you think, Rika? I really don't know, but I guess someone you can truly understand each other with. Yeah. My crush probably won't notice me because he comes to report back to me when he gets a new girlfriend, as well as when he breaks up with them. He even comes to me for advice on what went wrong in the relationship. No matter how much I console him, how much time we spend together, he doesn't see me as anything beyond a childhood friend, and I will only be an understanding friend, not a lover to Toru. Hey, Toru. Hmm. What's up, Rika? What about? No, never mind. I hope you find someone nice. Ah,、uh, well, I don't think I need another one for a while. I mean, if a relationship is going to stress me out instead of bringing me relaxation, why bother? That's why. I can't get myself to voice my thoughts of why not me. I don't want to hear the inevitable no response and ruin our friendship at the same time. So I always say this. Okay, I always be here if you want to talk. Yeah, thanks. A week after the conversation, Tolu let me know that he got another girlfriend. Why can't that be me? I say to myself with a drink in one hand. That again? I know. Hey, Reiji, am I that unattractive? No, I don't think so. You're fashionable and cute. So I don't see why Toru wouldn't be attracted to you. This here that is cheering me up is my other childhood friend, Reiji Ohara. He noticed that I had a crush on Toru from a young age, and since then he's been the one I go to talk about this kind of stuff. The consultation fees are the drinks on the table, and the cookies that Reiji is putting in his mouth right now. Usually I'd regain my confidence. And that would be the end of it. Well then, why won't he choose me? Well, why can't it be me? Hmm. What can I do to be chosen by Toru? Even if I dress nice or try talking to him a lot, even if I give him advice, Toru always chooses someone else. So what can I do to get Toru to notice me? It hurts too much, but I think my heart that has been broken over and over again had come close to its limit. Once they've started flowing, my negative thoughts wouldn't stop, and they kept coming, pouring out with tears.、Uh, Reiji. Sorry, I didn't mean to hug you like this all of a sudden, but I couldn't watch you be like this. It caught me by surprise, but. Why not me? What do you mean? Why don't me, not Toru? I don't make you sad, Rika. I just promise make you happy. <laughs> Are you doing this out of sympathy? You don't have to do that. I'll be better in a few days, and I'll give up on Toru. No. Reiji hugged me even tighter. Reiji is my childhood friend, and yet I didn't know he had this side to him. It's not sympathy. I love you, Rika. Since when? From the beginning, even before you started liking Toru. No way. It's true. I liked you, Rika. That's why I was able to notice when the way you look at Toru had changed, or rather, had to notice. Now that I think about it, Reiji was always the first one to notice any differences in me. When I got a small haircut, when I wore a little bit of makeup. And when I developed a crush on Toru, sorry, Reiji. Reiji is the same as me. Not only does their crush not notice them, but they come to you for advice. Yeah, I get it. Sorry.、Uh, no, it's not like that. I've always been afraid to tell Toru how I felt from a fear of being rejected. So I really understand how you're feeling right now. So if I turn him down now, Reiji and I can't just be childhood friends like we used to, and that was something I've been afraid of with Toru. I've only been looking at Toru up until now. I know. Yeah, but I've made up my mind that even though it might take some time, 
I'm going to give up on Toru. I'm going to pay more attention to people around me. You too, Reiji. So, can I have a bit of time to make my decision? A month or so? It's really scary to wait for a response, but I've k e p these feelings to、so、myself for years. A month is nothing to me. Don't expect my judgment to waver just because you're my childhood friend or because we're in similar situations. I was surprised that Reiji had a crush on me, but I guess I was so into Toru that I was completely oblivious to the fact. A month or rather three months later. Hey Rika, aren't you kind of distant these days? Really? I didn't mean to be distant. Oh, Reiji! Over here! Oh, here you guys are. Sorry about that. I couldn't find you since you were in the shade here. Huh? Reiji? What about go promise to go home with me? I do remember. So I thought we could all walk home together. Why? Well, even though we are childhood friends, I didn't want anyone to get the wrong idea from us walking together alone. Well, I told you that I don't mind. But I wouldn't like it if I were you, so. Huh? What are you guys talking about? I grabbed Reiji's arm and I realized that I had forgotten to tell Toru the good news. I've decided to go out with Reiji. Huh? Since when? Um, a little over two months ago? So I thought it wouldn't be good to be alone with a guy, even if it's a childhood friend. Sorry, Toru. You always let me know when you started dating someone. Not even a month, but a little over a week after I had postponed my response, I had already started falling for Reiji. I guess this was natural. Reiji told me that he loved me and showed it through his actions every day. To me, who had been pursuing a crush that would never work out. I might have been easy, but I totally fell for Reiji. After I had decided to go out with Reiji, we had discussed that we would only tell Toru after things settled down a little bit. I thought it was a good idea, and since then, I'd fallen for Reiji so hard that I'd forgotten about Toru up until now. Haha. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. But Rika, how did you feel about me? Um, sorry, did I hurt your feelings? I know you have no feelings for me and that you have girlfriends elsewhere, so it's alright for you to walk home with me, but. Even though I knew that, if Reiji were to walk home alone with a girl that's taken, I wouldn't like it, and I don't want to do something that I don't want done to me. Well, yeah, I guess so. I realized that I loved Reiji that much. Anyway, why does Toru look so troubled? Maybe he realized that he might be hurting his girlfriend by walking home with me. You're so stupid, Rika. Huh? Stupid? You're so mean. But wouldn't you be worried if I was with another guy? No. Huh? Why not? Because I'd never do anything to hurt you. What confidence. But I'd never do anything to hurt you either. We were talking to each other in our own little bubble. Reiji looked over behind me, and that's when I remembered that Toru was still here. Oh, sorry, Toru. You must have felt left out. No. Reiji and I have decided to go out, but you and I are still childhood friends, and that's not going to change. Maybe not just the two of us, but the three of us can still hang out together. I was even imagining Reiji, me, Toru, and his girlfriend can go on double dates, so I think it's safe to say that my crush for Toru had completely diminished. Hmm? What's wrong, Toru? You don't look well. Um, I remember something I gotta do, so you two go on without me. Really? Okay, see you. Um, yeah. Bye. I parted with Toru and headed home with Reiji. I giggled at the thought that back in the day, I would have forced him to go with me to the nurse's office. And Reiji had a strange look on his face, somewhat smiling, somewhat sad. What's up with that face? Well, I was just thinking about how cute my girlfriend is. Huh? Really? Really, really. 
Okay then. I gave up on my long-term crush and started on new love. Reiji finally got his long-term crush to notice him. A lot happened in a short amount of time, but I am really happy now. My name is Rino Mamiya. I'm a 10th grader at an all-girls high school in Tokyo. Okay, I'm heading out now. Oh, wait up, Rino. I walk you to the station. As I was leaving home, my older brother Ren came chasing after me, and he starts walking next to me like it's no big deal. Ren, didn't you say that your classes start at second period today? Isn't it a bit early for you to leave school? It's fine. I can just kill some time at school. I can study for class while I wait to. Hmm, I wouldn't want to go early and prep for class if I were you. <laughs> I used to think that too, but it does all pay off eventually, and I always learn something new at school. I guess. Yeah, um, by the way, how are you doing these days? It's been about six months since you started high school. Are you enjoying school? Well, I guess it's okay. <laughs> I see. Okay is good. Like they say, no news is good news. Yeah, but I feel like it holds a whole new meaning when you say it. Oh, you think so? Um, anyway, what time are you coming home today? I have practice, so I think I'll be late. Okay, just call me when you're done. I'll come pick you up. As long as it's not during my work hours, but try not to be too late. I just worry about your walk back home from the train station. Why are you so worried? You're so overprotective, Ren. You even made me go to an all-girls school, even though I was planning to go to the public school close to home. Why didn't you want me to go to a school with boys? Girls are fragile. You are defenseless if you are ever attacked by a man. That's why. Plus, you are cute, Reno. It's only natural that I'm overprotective. I don't know how to react after he says stuff like that so confidently. As I was thinking about what to say to him, Ren looks worried and reaches out for my bag. There, I have a cute little security alarm shaped like a donut. Um, does your security alarm still have batteries? Yep, I checked yesterday, so it should be fine. Good, I'm proud of you for checking regularly. Ren smiles happily and pats my head. Hey, hey, stop it! Oh, sorry, just force out habit. I fiddle around with my security alarm and walk alongside Ren. Ren gave me this security alarm. He's so overprotective, but it's partly my fault that Ren is this way. I felt remorse after reminiscing about the past. Ren wasn't always this protective. Rather, he wasn't even my brother. Huh? Huh? Big brother? Yes, I'm going to marry this man. So his son, Renkun, is going to be your brother from now on. A big brother? What? Eek! He glared at me, and I hid behind my mom from fear. Then, I was in 6th grade, and Ren was in 10th grade, right in the middle of his bad boy face. Unlike now, he had his hair dyed blonde, had a glare on his face all the time, and was a stereotypical delinquent. My first impression was pretty bad. A scary guy is my family now. I don't know if I can get along with him. <laughs> Reno, why are you hiding? Renku might look a little scary, but he's a really good kid. Really? Yes, so come on, greet him. Um, sure. Um, hi? Okay. He's still pretty scary. That's how we met. But since then, we've gotten along pretty well. But once I started going to junior high, I started to hear lots of bad rumors about Ren. Oh, it's Ren! He's not wearing his school uniform properly at all. That day, I had come across Ren by chance near the school gate. As I tried to step towards Ren, Rino-chan, let, let's talk a little more here before we go. Huh? Why? Because the infamous Ren Senpai is over there. Infamous? Reno, haven't you heard? The guy that did Quen has been cursing a whole bunch of the trouble in this town over. Apparently, he ran this area too. 
Yeah, yeah. They say he'll break all your bones if you make eye contact with him. I heard that the senpai that ran this school before, he came around got beaten up by him the other day. Huh? Ren doesn't just look like a delinquent, but actually is one? If people find out that I'm his sister, what will people think of me? I don't want to get involved in any trouble, so I guess I should lay low so no one finds out. After that, I tried to avoid Ren at school at all costs. One day, Ren and I were leaving school at the same time. Hey, Reno. Ren, Ren try not to talk to me so much outside. Why not? Because I don't know what anyone might do to me if they find out I'm your sister. Huh? Don't worry about that. I protect you from anything. Huh? Sh shoot! I didn't mean to feel butterflies in my stomach from that. Why, Ren? I breathe out heavily to try and mask my feelings. <sighs> well, why not just stop fighting and try to dress like a little more normal? Then, I can proudly say that you're my brother and we can walk together without worrying about anything and... Oh, um... Ren suddenly stopped in his tracks and looked at me with wide eyes. What's wrong, Ren? No, nothing. But if you say you don't like the way I look, I'll think about it. Okay, I'll look forward to it. Sh sure. Hearing Ren's words, I blush. He's a good guy at heart. But even a few weeks after that, Ren had not changed his appearance. I guess he has no intention of changing his looks. Hey, you must be Reno Mamiya. Come with me. Huh? One day, as I was walking out in town, I was surrounded by guys that clearly looked like delinquents and was taken to an empty park. Uh, um, can I help you? You? You are Ren's sister, right? You are hostage now. Well, if you stay quiet, we won't do anything to you. The leader of the gang smiles at me and ordered one of the guys to call Ren over. Will he show or will he not? Part of me wants him to come and part of me doesn't. As I anxiously waited, Ren arrived in a hurry and rushed up to me. <laughs> Reno, you better not have done anything to her. Yep, and I heard her back unharmed if you agree to admit to defeat us. <laughs> Fine. Good answer. Ren! The gang member all lunged at Ren. I jumped out in between Ren and the man. Get out of the way! Ah! <laughs> Reno! I've been shopped and I roll onto the ground. My school uniform rolls up my legs and my top lifts up and shows some skin as well. But I was too hurt to care about how I looked. Hey, you don't look too bad. Hey, let's leave it out for later and have some fun with her first. In your dreams! Ren was enraged by the guy's words and he beat them all up in a matter of seconds. Once all the guys had fallen to the ground, Ren picked me up and helped me to get back on my feet. Rito, are you right? Y yes Good. I'm glad you're not hurt, but... I'm sorry, this is my fault, but you are partly responsible for this too. Huh? What do I have to do with this? You were targeted because you were cute. You need to be more aware of how cute you are. I've heard rumors about you at the high school too, so all the guys are after you. You should stop wearing your skirt so short. I... I get it. But then you need to stop being a delinquent too. You can gradually erase the bad boy image from everyone's minds. So then we can lead a peaceful school life. Um, you're right. The day after the incident, Ren dyed his blonde hair back to his natural black color and started to wear his uniform school properly. <laughs> Looks good! I think this look suits you better. Really? Ren laughs happily at my words. Since then, Ren has decided to live life seriously and is studying really hard for university entrance exam. He is also working hard at his part-time job. Although he was quite busy, he must have had a natural knack for studying. Surprisingly, he has made it into Tokyo University. Meanwhile, I was planning on moving on to the local public high school with my friends. Huh? You shouldn't go there, Reno! Why not? Because the school is for both boys and girls! 
Huh? Of course it is. Why is that any reason you'd be against it? <laughs> You're so funny, Rankun. Reno, you go to school wherever you want to go, honey. Okay. At the time, both my parents were on my side, but a month later. Reno, why don't you go to that all-girls school in the town next door? Yes, I think that's a good idea too. Uh -huh. Huh? For some reason, everyone was on Ren's side now. Ren, he must have said something to them behind my back. In the end, since everyone else was against me going to the local high school, I ended up going to the all-girls school. But since I was forced to go to this school against my will, things were pretty rocky between me and my family. Reno, I know you're not satisfied, but don't think this is Rankun's fault. He was just looking out for you. That's right. The all-girls school is a private school, so we were against it at first for financial reasons. But Ren said that he would pay for your tuition for the money he would save up for work and his allowances. When I asked him the reason, he said that it was because you're cute. You'd be targeted by boys. He is worried, so he wanted to send you to an all-girls school. He thinks of you that much. I didn't know. I'm sure he's still feeling responsible for that incident with the gang. I mean, I was in a lot of trouble had Ren not come in time. I was in awe at how much Ren had thought of me. So that's why I'm still attending this all-girls high school. Hey, I am in high school after all, so you don't have to worry so much. And you should go enjoy your own life a bit more. There must be some cute girls at school. Why don't you get yourself a girlfriend for once? I can't see any girls as cute aside from you. Huh? Wh why would you say that to your sister? I can't see you as my sister, Reno. You're cute. I can't date anyone but you, Reno. Huh? I say out loud and stop. Ren looks at me surprised. Shoot! I didn't mean to say that. Uh, um, is that your honest feelings? Yeah, I thought you were cute since the first time I met you even though back in the day. I was not the easiest to be around. You tried really hard to get to know me and become a family together. You worried my future and thought about it together with me. You didn't judge me by my looks and you stayed by my side. So I want to protect you for the rest of my life. My face is burning hot after hearing what Ren had said. Man, you... You've always spoken like such a man. What am I ever going to do with you? Huh? You're so manly, honest, and smart, and of course, cool. I might have been looking at you as a man rather than a brother to me too. Just kidding. Well, I gotta get going now. I suddenly felt so embarrassed, so I started to run off. Ren follows me right after. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Are you going out with me? We'll talk about this another time! Rito! Later, I secretly started dating Ren. Reno, you're really fast. Hmm? I've heard this voice before. I stopped when I heard the voice from the park, which I happened to pass by. Looking over by the park, as I expected, I saw Ryota Yanagida. He's the president of a company to one of our business partners. I work as a president's secretary, so we would talk from time to time. What is Ryota doing here? Could she possibly be Ryota's daughter? Seeing the two having fun from a distance, I heard the mothers of the park making gossips about them. Hey, look at him. He looks very shabby. He does look pretty suspicious. Is he a prowler? That's horrible. Ryota is definitely wearing shabby overalls. But they don't have to say it like that. I trolled over to Ryota without realizing. Ryota! Oh, Shizuku? Hello. Thank you always for your support on our company. You're always busy as a president, so seeing you resting very well makes me relieved. <laughs> well, of course, even I take a day off. 
<laughs> That's true. But Construction A Company is such a big corporation. So I thought you wouldn't even have time to take any days off. <laughs> If there is no days off, that would be a company with terrible working conditions. <laughs> You're right. While I laughed, I looked over sideways to see the mothers who are making gossip Sally on. What? He's the president of Construction A Company? He looked too common that I didn't realize. I yeah, let's go. They seemed to have realized me looking at them, so they took their children and left the park awkwardly. That should teach them a lesson to not gossip anymore. Um, Shizuku, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Any foo? I was surprised I had no clue you had a daughter. Oh, yeah. Well, she's actually my little brother and his wife's daughter. Oh! Is it okay if I ask him in details? While I thought to myself, Ryota looks at the little girl gently. My little brother and his wife passed away one year ago from the accident. I took custody of their child. I see. Hey! When Ryota and I were talking away, the little girl came looking up to us. So I squat down to make eye contact with her. What happened? Are you friends with Ryo? Ryo? <laughs> She's talking about me. Uh, oh, I see. Um, what should I say? Well, it's okay. We can say that we are friends. Mm -hmm. You're right. My name is Shizuku Sasaki. I'm Ryo's friend. So I'm right. Hey, my name is Rino. Let's pray together, Shizuku. Hey, hey. Shizuku also has to do. Eh, I want to play. Mm -hmm. Then, let's play for a little while. Yay! Um, Shizuku, don't sweet it. I'm not. I finished what I had to do and was going home anyways. Okay, Rino. How should we play? Let's play tag. Real is it? <laughs> Then, let's run away. Oh, wait! Rino and I ran, laughing away, while Ryota started to run after us hesitantly. Rino got very hyper while we had fun playing that she dived into the nearby fountain. Rino! Ha ha ha! Hey! Ah! Rino scooped the water from the ground and showered me with it. She did this many times that my shirt is see-through. I'm very wet, but oh well. Hey, take this! Ha ha ha! Hey, hey boss will be calm down! We couldn't hear Ryota's voice, and we had fun playing with the water until we were satisfied. That was so fun! <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time since I had this much fun. It's good to know you had fun. But Shizuku, you should just cover yourself with this towel. Ryota came running over in a hurry, with brushing face, and covered me up with a big towel. Thanks to him and the towel, my see-through shirt got hidden. Jeez, you're soaking wet. I'm sorry. Oh no, you're not a fool, Shizuku. But you might catch a cold. If you wouldn't mind, why don't you come take a shower at least? We live close by here. But... I need to shower Reno too anyways. I want to get in bath with Shizuku. See? She even said so. <laughs> okay then. Thank you for inviting me. No problem. So I took bath with Rino at Ryota's place. Because she got tired after talking through the bath, once she was out from the bath, Rino went to sleep right away. I'm sorry that you had to even put her to sleep. Ryota apologizes while he serves the coffee. It's not a problem. I also had fun. Oh, okay. Well, if you feel that way, then that's good. Um, why are you only in your shirt? When Ryota saw me coming out from the bedroom, he quickly turned away his bright red face. I only wore Ryota's big shirt like a skirt, so my bare legs are out in a pretty risky position. Um, I thought I put out the pants for you. Yeah, but the pants were too long. I thought that if I wore this big shirt like a skirt, it won't be a problem. I see. I don't have any closet for women, so it is what it is. I'm sorry. No, I'm grateful of you for even lending me some clothes. You've even put my clothes in the dryer. I'll boil your shirt until my clothes get dry. Don't worry about it. Anyways, please drink this coffee while it's warm. Thank you. I thanked him and sat right in front of Yota. Anyways, kids are full of energy, aren't they? Isn't it difficult for you to look after Reno after your busy day at work? There are definitely times where it's difficult, but she's too adorable. So that's why I can do the best with everything I have. His face, while laughing and saying this was so gentle, and he looked very happy. My heart fluttered. I knew he was good at work and he's good looking from before, but when I see him happy just now, 
Without realizing, I would imagine three of us, Ryota, Rino, and I living together in the future. Even after a few weeks, I still couldn't forget about what happened that day. It was so fun spending the time with them. If I could spend the time with them every day, how fun my life would be! While I thought to myself, I walked across a shop which sold goods for children, and I stopped spontaneously. That's cute! If I get it for Rino, would she be happy with it? Um, Shizuku? Ryota! When I turned around, I saw Ryota standing there with a surprised face. Good evening. Uh, what are you doing here in front of this shop? Do you have plans for wedding soon? Oh, no, I mean, you actually already married and you're going to have a baby soon? He spoke very fast in a panicking way. He misunderstood very badly that I gave out a laugh. <laughs> I have no plans to get married or give birth to any babies. I was only thinking that if I got this, Rino would be happy or not. Oh, um, I see. He realized that he misunderstood badly and blushes his face. Uh, um, I think Rino would be very happy. Why? When we are playing together, her smile was so adorable that I wanted to get it for her to see her smile. If you don't mind, I want to give this as a gift to her. Is that okay? Yes, thank you so much. Well, even if there wasn't any gifts, as long as she got to see your Shizuku, she'll be very happy. What? Um, actually, she's been begging me to see you every day since that day. Really? <laughs> I'm so happy. Then is it okay if I bring this gift to go see her? Yes, please. The weekend came. I brought the cute adorable bear gift to go see Rino. Shizuku, thank you so much. I love you. She came over to hug me, and I hugged her back tightly. She looked very happy from the bottom of her heart, and I was very happy too. Hey Shizuku, let's play again. Yeah. We played until the sun went down, while Ryota, who was doing housework, looked over us. Rino went to sleep. <laughs> yep, she did it. I put her down on the bed and went over to the living room and saw that Ryota was brewing coffee while thanking me. We sat facing each other again and spent a relaxing time together. It seems like when she plays with you, her energy runs out quickly than when she plays with me. She must be having lots of fun. I guess because I'm not a girl, she can't have fun with me fully. Um, if it's okay with you, I can be of any support. I can come over to play with her. I would love that, but if you come here often, your boyfriend would worry, right? <laughs> I don't have any boyfriends. Oh, I see. Then, please do come over again. I also enjoy your being here. Me too. We left together, and both our faces are blushing a little bit. Actually, when I first met you, I knew that I could respect you. And when I saw you taking good care of Reno, I had a good feeling towards you. So, I'm super glad that we both feel the same. Me, me too. Um, if you like, will you have dinner with us? Reno will be very happy too. Yes, I'd love to. We ate our first dinner together on that day. It felt like we are actually a family, and I was very happy. Since then, from few times in a month to few times in a week, I began to visit Ryota and Rino more, and had dinner with them frequently. After a while, Rino began to beg for me to stay the night over, and so I began to stay the night over during weekends. Those days continues and one day. When we are done with dinner, Shizuku, you go home, right? I wish we could be together all the time. Rino began to say, when we are eating dinner together as usual. Just like my papa and mama, I wish that Rio and you would get married. If you do, then we'll be together forever, right? Th that's... I glanced over to Ryota immediately, and saw that Ryota was also looking at me with a blushing face. Shizuku, I also want you to be here forever. Please marry me. Yes! All the happy feelings and feeling of joy rose up as I smiled and said those words. My name is Tsukasa Nita, 26 years old office worker. After graduating high school, I went for work for a local company. Hey cutie, do you want to go have a drink with me somewhere? No, I'm drinking alone. It's fine, let's both have a drink anyway. Oh, shut up. Makes the sake taste bad. After work, I was having a drink at my favorite bar, and a handsome guy was trying to pick up girl next to me since earlier. Do it somewhere else. I bet the girl doesn't really mind it anyway. 
Why don't you just go ahead and accept it? For the record, I hate women, especially those who judge a man by his looks. But of course women like the good looking guys like him. For an unpopular guy like me, this was none of my business. So I'm being pretending ignorance, but... I'm invite you out. You give me the attitude? Just come over here. <laughs> no, please stop. Perhaps he became angry for being refused and forcefully grabbed her arm. The girl was completely frightened. Perhaps she doesn't like for real? As I saw that, my body reacted on its own. Hey, stop. Oh, what is this, man? She doesn't like it, you see? Get your hands off her. Heh. <laughs> Are you the type of guy who thinks that kind of thing is cool? I'm telling you, it's not your business, so just stay out of it. Ugh, you. What? If you want some, I'll take you on. As I was inwardly irritated by the man's provocation, a wild voice echoed from the counter. He was a master. Sir, we don't want any trouble in the restaurant. Also, we don't want to pick ups. If you can generally enjoy drinking, please leave. The man is completely overwhelmed by master's intensity. In the end, he left disappointed. Phew. Now it's quiet. Let's go back to drinking. Then the girl that was being picked up suddenly started thinking me. Um, thank you very much. What? Um, no. Thanks to the master instead. <laughs> You're so kind. Then she smiled. After that, we began to see the girl frequently at the bar. Oh, good evening. Would you like to sit next to me? Her name is Aki Oshiro. Apparently she was 25 years old, one year younger than me. I didn't ask her what she was doing, but seeing that she was wearing a suit, I guess she is a company employee. Although she has a slightly childish face, she wears a well-fitting suit. Well, Aki-chan, what would you want to drink with someone like me? Hmm, why? No, because I look like this, right? The women at work said I look weird and that I'm too dark and lots more. I think it's just that those women don't have the eyes to see people. Tsukasa-san is such a nice guy. Mm. She smiles carefully, as if she really means it, neither lying or flattering. I feel like I'm going crazy. This girl is an odd one, maybe a little bit different from the other girls? I don't like other people to see my face. This is why I usually grow my bed long enough to intentionally hide the face. It makes all the women to creep out, but apparently Akishan doesn't think that. I like your hair. It's unique. I see. Yes, I love it. Mm. Will you please stop saying such a thing lightly in front of an attractive guy like me? I'll take it seriously. But, well, I know. How can a pretty girl like Akishan like a guy like me? I'm sure we wouldn't match even if I give my best. That's what I thought. One day. I like you, Tsukasa-san. Will you go out with me? What? As usual, we met at the bar and had a normal time drinking first. And yet, as we got to drinking, she suddenly confessed to me. Hey, you're too drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm serious. No, but... Are you sure you're a guy like me? Yes. It's okay because it's you. Aki was spry and stubborn, and I found myself being pushed away. That's how I got myself a beautiful girlfriend. Aki is family oriented, just like how she looks. Since we started dating, she has come to my house almost every day to cook for me. Welcome. Sorry to have you come over every day. It's okay. It's what I like to do. Besides, if I don't keep a close eye on you, Tsukasa-san, all you do is drink and your diet will be unbalanced, right? Um, I can't say anything back when you put it like that. <laughs> That's why you're not allowed to go out to the bar tonight. Let's enjoy a nice dinner together. I used to drink so much, but that had decreased recently, and I'm so much healthier. Everything is thanks to Akchan, but still. Aki is cooking while wearing a frilly apron over her suit. Her looks makes me feel like a newly wed couple. Is this what they call a commuting wife? I'm sure Akchan will make a good wife when she marries. What's wrong? You've been staring at me since a while ago. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. It's embarrassing. So please don't stare too much. Um, so cute. I was enjoying my new days like this. When I one day at work, I was suddenly summoned to the director's office. 
What is this about? I've done nothing wrong. As soon as I entered the room, the director started talking to me. Nita, you don't have to come to work starting next month. What? What do you mean? It means you're fired. I feel sorry for you, though. Our company is having a hard time doing well. We can't offer to hire high school graduate like you any longer. Don't you understand? What? Well, you should start looking for a new job now. I'm being fired because I'm a high school graduate. How unreasonable! I was angry, but I don't think protesting now would reverse the decision. Then I'd better find a job as soon as possible. But I probably won't find a company that will hire high school graduate like me anytime soon. A few days later. Oh no! You're fired. That's terrible. When I told Akichan the story, she got angry as if it had happened to her. I really appreciate the sentiment, but I have something else to tell you today. You know, Aki, I'll keep looking for a job, but as of now, I'm out of a job. Don't worry. If it's money, I'll take care of it for a while. Oh, that's right. Why don't you move into my place anyway? If we live together, you won't even have to pay rent. I'll just be a pimp then. So, I want to break up with me. I'm sorry for being so selfish. No, is that really okay with you, Tsukasa-san? It was not okay. I don't want to leave you actually either, but I don't want you to cause more trouble. You're an idiot, Tsukasa-san. If you would rather shed tears of regret, you shouldn't have said that in the first place. What? She gently wipes my eyes with a handkerchief. This cursed Aki to see my face, which I keep hidden with my bands. <sighs> that surprised me. Why did you hide it? You have such a nice face. That's. There is a reason I dislike women. It's weird of me to say this, but I was always good looking, so I was quite popular when I was a student. Because of this, I was confessed every day from girls I don't even know, just because they liked my face. Moreover. I have been suffer from how to be bad stalking, so I started living my life with my face hidden. Tsukasa-san, you had it rough. Actually, do you prefer the man with a good face at all? Oh, Tsukasa-san, you are such a silly person. If that were the case, I wouldn't have gone out with you in the first place. Oh, it was rude of me to put it that way. Hmm. You know, no matter what Tsukasa-san looks like. It wouldn't change the fact that I love you, because I like you just the way you are. Akchan, those words saved me. I thought everyone only saw my face, not my inner side. But Aki accepts me for who I am. I'm sorry, Akchan. I don't want you to leave after all. I know I'm such a pathetic guy, but please continue to go out with me. Yes, it's my pleasure. Aki makes a relieved smile. I also was caught up in the smile. Oh yes. About your job, I can help you if you want. Um, what do you mean? I'll introduce you a good job. And later. This is Tsukasa-san, who will be joining us today. Let's applaud him! Wow! I decided to be taken care of by Action Company. To my surprise, she was a successful female president, and her workplace was exclusively for young female employees. It used to be a no boys office. But since I dislike women, there was no worry of me cheating. That's what I thought. Wow, Tsukasa-san is so handsome. Really? What? They soon discovered my real face and was surrounded by women. Everything was a mess. Oh, hey, stop it! Don't worry about it. Please show me more. Hey, everyone, get away from him. Tsukasa-san is mine. I wondered what would happen when I was fired from the company, but apparently it'll be more fun from now on.